like a piece of art that I can look back on and just remember this time, even though it's kind of yeah. an unfortunate time. Well, like how freaking excited are you for, you know, people, your followers, your family? It's not even a fan base. Like your family, that's what I'm calling them. They go hard. And yeah. I love a second of it. Like how excited are you for them to finally get to hear this side of Jag? I'm very excited. You know, I've talked about it countless times and in countless interviews so far just in the past three weeks since it's come out. Um, and since we've been public about putting our individual music out. But it's something that me and Johnson are both so excited about and we're excited for each other. And we're just excited to flourish in our own lanes and kind of grow as individual artists. And right. it's just fun. It's a fun new step and I'm, I'm very excited. But at the same time, like I've never spent, this is probably the longest I've gone not seeing Jack J, uh, probably since kindergarten. So is it's okay? a very long time, yeah. Yeah, he's in LA, you said? Yeah, he's still in LA. You know, he's got his studio set up and he's making like an, a whole album in his room and he gets oh. like noise complaints all day long. So uh, he's awesome. doing, yeah. Awesome. Well, I mean, I don't think that anybody ever doubted that you guys wouldn't like not be completely supportive of each other. Again, being growing up like kids together. <laughs> Yeah, that's like my best friend. So it's like, yeah. it's not a matter of if we're making music together or not. It's like, that's my guy. Um, so I saw the music video completely filmed in quarantine. And you know, let's say social distancing. Yes. Uh, Freaking dope. Thank so you. I just want to know what that was like for you as an experience, especially like really, right. really cool creative process of it for like, you know, you and then the director, Don Tolliver, he's on the track, which is dope. Oh, yeah. What was that like for you? I'm curious. Um, I'm, oh, just, the video. Shooting the video was, was a, not, I won't say it was like a challenge, even though it was a challenge, you know, it wasn't like the hardest thing I've ever done, but it was a lot of work because as an artist and you, you know, you talk to a bunch of different artists in the industry and we're all kind of used to like having a team and having people put things together. And of course, all the ideas come from you, but like on a shoot day, you kind of just go to the shoot wherever it is and like yeah. you do your part and then it gets edited and like you don't have to think about it all right and in this case um it was much different and it was every day i was hands-on kind of like going back and forth with the edit shooting shots that might not make it and you know it was just an experience and we didn't know what we were doing and so we put it together and i'm honestly so happy with how it came it out sounds so good i have to ask so you were home when you filmed this right yeah are you currently staying with your parents I'm in my parents' house, yeah, where I grew Please up. Please tell me that one of your parents, like your mom, was like holding the camera, directing <laughs> the shoot. Like you're dancing in your backyard, which it, I, he did, she didn't know that you could move like that. Okay. <laughs> but like, please tell me your mom is like shooting the camera or something. Like that would just make like the bathtub scene. Come on. <laughs> What's my parents were actually, they love this show called Homeland. And I'm actually a big fan of that show as well. And they were watching it. So I was in their bath, in their room. Yeah. But for the bath shots, I was like, okay, I don't want my mom or my dad. To <laughs> so I got my boy, Josh, to come over. And he okay, helped cool. film, film okay. that. But yeah, my dad was like holding lights. Um, yeah. for, like, he was holding like two flashlights in the outdoor shots so we could have enough light on my body and stuff like that. But uh, it was wild. You know, they were like... I was, it's just such a funny thing. I could tell a million stories, but it was funny because they were like, they had to like blast their TV because I was blasting my love and like singing to it in the, in the bathtub and they were yeah. watching Homeland in their room. <laughs> I just felt so like, I felt so annoying to them, even though they're so excited and happy for me. Right, I so watch their show. Um, and so, yeah, it was a funny you can't experience. can't interfere with Monday show night, you know, like we sit exactly. down at 8 p.m. Central to watch this Homeland. Come on. Exactly. And so, yeah, that That's was just awesome. a funny experience. I love it. I love it. Um, so, obviously, like, Don Tolliver is part of the track and part of the video. What was it like working with somebody like him? He's super cool. He is honestly, yeah, he is super cool. Not only just his music, but, like, from the first time that I actually got to, like, talk with him on FaceTime about how he felt about the track and, you know, talk about his verse and talk about what he wants to do for the video. That was, like, maybe six months ago. And maybe like four months ago. I don't know. I'm losing track of time, but it's hard right now. We get it. It's been, been so cool about the whole process. And uh, like, it had, you know, you just don't know what to expect um, from any other artists, you know, because it's not their songs. You right. know? So, like, it's, it's my song. And you never know like how someone is, 
is going to support it or if, if they actually like love it and stuff. But he, from day one, he was like, man, this track is dope. I think people are really going to fuck with it. And I think we got to, at some point, he told me after the quarantine video, he's like, at some point we got to do a real video because yeah. like, it's such a banger that it deserves like a nice visual. Um, and so I don't know if we'll do that just because the support on the OG has been like super dope. And like, you know, I'm ready to move, you know, I'm ready to keep going and just putting out more music, but, um, hey. He's been awesome. He, he's such a cool guy. Well, that's awesome to have that support on your side, for sure. Like, it's really important, especially as a musician that's really branching out. And, like, I can tell that this new project and this new side of you that we're seeing is, like, really important to you. Like, it shows, like, your passion shows us through how you, through you talk. I think that is so incredibly dope. Um, I was curious, too, like, what other artists, or like your dream artist to work with or like feature like if you could have like the ultimate feature of all features who would it be do you think that's so hard because there are there are so many legendary artists out there right now i said janae aiko in the last i always oh. said wrong, but i said her in the last interview i think now i'm gonna go with uh the weekend just because he's just the dopest but i would want more of like the trilogy weekend more so than After Hours Weekend, even though I love his new stuff. Yeah. I just like, I, in 20, whatever it was, 11 or 2012, whenever that came out, like, I remember like having a crush on a girl in high school and like listening to the trilogy. <laughs> and just, like, us, you know like, what I'm you're like crying, but like, you're like ready to approach her. I feel you. Yeah. I like the darkness of that one too. Like, not darkness, but like, it's kind of heavy, you know? I don't know. It is. Um, it it's emotional and that's why i love that kind of weekend so that would be probably my my guy um would you say that like in your new writing and stuff that you're kind of getting a little bit more emotional than you ever have before in terms of that creative process and just like really being authentic to yourself i i will say what i hope to be the next single is very true to like real life for me awesome. you know like, very emotional thing writing it very emotional listening to it like sometimes I'll just go in my car and I'll just like sit in my parking garage in LA That's and I'll just blast it and people like come knock on my window I'm like yo are you are you good like what you know and, <laughs> yeah no I'm just in my emotional I moment. Really but it's, yeah I okay so I kind of jumped on here before we got the chance to talk and some of the what do you what do you call like your supporters do you that do they have a name they don't have a name and that's something that what we never even had a name for them as jack and jack fans i don't know you know i view that as something that has to organically come um sure. and if, if it doesn't that's cool you know like you you have like the you have like the og um you know like the the jack army or whatever you want to call it like right. you know, I've always different it's, it's more than stuff. fan it's more than fan because that's what we know so they, they were telling me earlier though that you are a Virgo, but like the more you talk about your emotions and stuff, the more I want to read your birth chart and find out if you have some like em emo signs in there too. I'm fully Virgo, but I will say I'm a rising Leo, I believe. Okay. I think I'm a, like my front is a Gemini or whatever. I don't know. The, what the moon? Rising moon. Yeah. So like oh, I put up that okay. Gemini front. I guess but you have a little bit of insight. I'm kind of a dork about that kind of stuff. I can't help it, but. No, it's funny because I'll get to talking about it. And in LA, it's like normal because everyone's like, you know, all over the place, <laughs> sky high. Yeah, like I'm a Gemini, you know, like whatever. <laughs> but then over here in, in Nebraska, I'll be talking about it. My boys will be like, bro, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if this is even like, uh, like, a, you know, I don't know. I don't know if it's accurate, but at the same time, I do relate it's to a lot. Yeah, and like, who cares? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's fun to dive into every once in a while, for sure. Yeah, um, one, yeah. One of my really good girlfriends, she's like super into that stuff, and she—that's who got me like super into it. And she read me like all of my stuff, and like, you can like compare, uh, like your relationship with someone. Yeah. You can yeah. Read your future. It's like co-star and all these apps. Yeah. Are <laughs> oh man, I feel very exposed right now just talking about all my astrology. It's fine. I know you can literally like read a person if you really get into it. I'm very like my birth chart and stuff is very on point for who I am as a person. I'm not mad about it. When when are you born? Uh, so my birthday was on Monday. May the fourth be with oh, you. Happy birthday, always. Okay. Wow. Appreciate it. Um, so, so 
but Four yeah, totally. sun, um, a Libra moon, and an Aquarius rising. Okay, okay. She's I, little I, little I think that's a sweet combination. It is, it is. Uh, but hey, let's get back to the hard hitting stuff, the important stuff. Um, what can we expect in the next couple of months? What do you have up your sleeve, dude? I want to know about this music. You've got, I've got this taste with my love, and I, I need more. I need more. Like secrets exposed. I totally hear you, and I want to give more for sure. You know, I want to, I want to give it all. Um, what's coming is a lot of music. I have, I want to put out multiple singles, a lot of singles, and just work them. You know, like how I'm doing right now, <laughs> um, because I, I really believe not only my love, but this next song. And the song after that, like, I mean, every song that I make deserves to be heard. It's going to be good no matter what. But these songs are like some of the most proud um, that I, it's, it's the most proud I've ever been about music that I've made, you know, and especially because yeah. I'm alone, it's like very true to me. And it tells yeah. my better than anything um, that I put out before. And so I'm really excited to get new music out. I really want to do a lot of like photo shoots. I want to get in a little bit more into modeling and acting. Oh, yes, I know they want to see it. Yes. <laughs> So, so those are really what I'm going to be focusing on when I get back to LA music modeling acting and just kind of like staying staying in that whatever you want to call it I just want to keep working and work every yeah. single day, different thing every single day and so a lot of music a lot of a lot of photos a lot of videos all that we're here for it um would you say that like especially down in time where everything has just really taken a step and slowed down like, is it kind of making you stir crazy or do you feel like you're really taking advantage of that moment to like sit back, think about yourself, think about who you want to be as artist, think about your music and like really get out there? Or do you feel like cooped up and stir crazy, do you think? I, it's a little bit of both because I'm fortunate enough to like, you know, I'm healthy. I can do stuff like this. Like I'm not like in the hospital or anything, right. you know? So, I mean, I'm praying for everybody who is, but I, I feel a little bit of both. Like, I feel like I'm working and I feel like very productive, but at the same time, I know I can take it to a whole other level once I get back to LA, you know, with like all of the professionals around me and my team thing. So I'm really, really excited to, uh, to get back to LA because that's like, that's, that's where I can really get shit done. So um, it's a little bit of both, but I'm kind of starting to really feel stir crazy. Yeah. It's like nice at first to take that time and just like decompress and then after a while, you're like, okay, now let's go. Especially, I'm sure the last three weeks with my love being out and the video dropping and like people are really seeing the side of you. I'm sure you're just like, okay, let's go. Yeah, because at the same time, like my love isn't isn't everything. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't, right. it doesn't like when you go to my Spotify or my Apple Music and that's the only thing you see, as, as someone who you don't know um, or someone who doesn't know me, like they might be like, okay, well, I want to see more about this guy. Like I fuck with this, but I want to like, I want to see what else he's got to offer, especially musically. And so that's why I'm like, I'm hitting my team. I'm like, when yeah. can we put this out? When can we put this out? But right. There's a strategy to everything. And I understand, you know, we're in quarantine. So I'm taking it day by day, but I'm just really, really excited. Oh. Really excited. Yeah. I'm super excited for you too, dude. Especially, you know, you representing Omaha, Nebraska. It's like, you know, how many people come out of here with a name that you guys have built and you specifically, it's just awesome. And like, you always have our support. I hope you know that. Like, Thank you. 110%. I'm excited for, you know, things to kind of calm down. And I'm really stoked for live music again. And I hope that you get the chance to come out and play a show with us. And I know, I really hope, so. you know, we, we put on that show at the Ralston Arena, like five yeah. years ago. And <laughs> you know, we did like two or three sold out shows. And I'm like, I, that was like one of the most fun things in my life, because I could look out into the arena and see like some of my friends and see right. some of my high school and just representing Omaha it's amazing because like you said like I didn't grow up with like you know and uh, like an idol who was from my town so it was right. kind of vision myself getting to that place but I hope that I can be you know someone who kids from Omaha and other small towns look up to when they're trying to make it and trying to get out of their city because I, fe I feel that you know like I know what it's like to really want to expand and, and get out of there but um at the end of the day I always want to come back to Omaha and show Omaha love because this is the place that made me, man, and, and it's the place I love forever. Um, so I have a couple more questions for you, and then I'll let you, you know, live your best life, take a nap. It's a dreary day. It sounds like a great day to take a nap. It's crazy because like, I have a, I have to do a photo shoot after this, and ooh. it's like, kind of like almost raining outside. So we'll see. We'll see I how good weather for photographers though at times. Yeah, maybe I don't know. I'm not a photographer. 
Um, but one thing I wanted to ask you was, you know, with all this new music coming out, and obviously, you know, we'll put your project with it. What new music are you super, super stoked for? Or what project, like, besides your own has recently come out that you're like, that's my shit? Um, definitely. I mean, Dark Lane Demo Tapes. I think that's the name of it. I feel like every time I say an album name, I'm like, wait. Right, right, right. <laughs> right? The new Drake shit is what I'm saying. Um, the new weekend stuff after hours. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called too. Um, yeah. and, yeah, yeah. uh, the new party next door, of course, party mobile. I love, I love, you know, I'm like a very OVOXO kind of guy. Like I love that whole crew. And I think they're geniuses for finding all these people, you know, Roy Woods, um, yeah. like all these guys who like, aren't that big, even though they're huge in their own right. But, um, they're, uh, yeah, it's, it's just like my type of music, kind of that rainy day vibe. So, yes. That's like, what I'm oh, do I do I text my ex girlfriend or <laughs> like that kind of thing? I get it. I get it. Exactly. I'm yeah. I'm stoked for Kalani's project to come out tomorrow. I believe I'm obsessed with her. He's coming out with a project tomorrow. That album. She got. Ooh. Ooh. I heard it's a banger. Yo, she got you are on there. Oh my god, it's about to be fire. She, she's definitely one of my favorite artists as well. I love. She's her voice is like it's unbelievable. So I'm very excited for that. I thank you for letting me know. <laughs> Um, and then lastly, I would, this is kind of not a very serious question, but, um, so I'm an aspiring TikTok queen. Okay. Okay. And so I was wondering if I could be in charge of choreographing a, my love TikTok dance challenge. Okay. And I saw you had one that like you might've shared on Twitter. I yeah. couldn't find it on TikTok, but like, maybe we come up with something I mean, I, I have I have white girl moves, but it could be a That's thing. A, white girl moves. Like, I'm not like Addison Ray or anything, but I think we could choreograph something. Would you be okay with me taking that? For sure, dude. You got to, yeah. <laughs> whatever, you know, I believe that everybody has a starting place. So you can't say that you're not like this person or like this person. You are you. You are there a you Thank you so much. One hundred percent. You have one hundred percent of my permission, or whatever you want to okay. call it. To, to I have you, it is going to be the most fire yet embarrassing thing you have ever seen. Because I have my... a mediocre talent level, but an above average enthusiasm level. So, you know. <laughs> so I think I, I love your energy in general. So I'm sure other people um, sure. will feel the same way. And I wish you the best of luck on your TikTok queen career. Thank you, I'm thank you. One day, great. you'll see my name in lights and you'll be like, oh my God, I remember that one time I did an IG live with her. That was there cool. You go. Exa I, hope, I hope to say that, yes, yes. <laughs> I can't wait. I'll be like, Jack Alinsky told me, what's up? Um, but no, hey, again, like from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for coming through and like, you, you know your power, we support you through and through. I'm so proud to say that you are from our hometown. I'm so happy I got to talk to you today and like, Congratulations, dude. This is a big deal, like a big fucking deal. And you're really doing it. And I'm just like really, really stoked for you. Hey, all of that means so much to me. I'm serious. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. You know, like you said, being from Omaha and hearing the support from Omaha, it's it, it warms my heart. This is the channel that I grew up listening to. So I hope you guys can spin it. I hope that you're even just listening to it and enjoy it in general. But yes. I, thank you. And thanks for having me on right now today. Yes for coming through and thank you of for course. watching and whatnot have a good rest of your day and a good photo shoot yeah yeah um again yeah i'll get i'll get right on that tiktok dance for you thank you i'm gonna keep my eye out for it please stay, <laughs> stay healthy and thank you again yes. tell everyone at power 1069 that i love them and i really appreciate y'all support will do jack thank you so much have a good day peace peace okay i don't know how to like Ooh. Jack Alinsky left the building. Okay. I know that I didn't get to a lot of questions that you guys had streamed through, but I hope that you enjoyed our conversation because that was super freaking fun. And Jack is obviously amazing. I mean, look at the man. He is just a sweetie, a little sweetie. And I just uh, can't wait to hug people again because I just want to give them a hug and say, congratulations. You're really out here doing it. Um, but yeah, I appreciate everybody who joined our little chat today. It's been super freaking fun. It's been awesome and unreal. And, um, I am going to bounce out, but this is not the last time you will see me. So follow the power and 
I don't know. Look out for that TikTok dance. It will be not, it'll be something, but I'm going to go. So I'll see you later. Bye. Did it end? Oh, damn it. <laughs> yes. And now.